All right, I'm gonna show something that can be very misleading. We've got three phase power. So I've got the disconnect off right now and I pulled one leg fuse just to show the point. So if I go to my line one to line two, look at my voltmeter up here, line one to line two, 213. Two to three, 213. One to three, 213. So one, two, three, all of them giving me good legs of power. If you tested them to ground, you would get 120, 120 to 2, 120 to 3, which is why when you combine any two, you get 213. All right, I'm going to turn this on. Now I'm going to test across the bottom. 1 to 2, I have 0. 1 to 3, I've got 213. 2 to 3, I've got 213. So we can see, because I pulled the fuse, but let's pretend it's not there. So we test across, or the fuse is there, so we don't know. So we test across. Line one, 213 volts across. Line two, zero. Line three, zero. So this is where you say, well, obviously we've got a problem with line one. We've got a blown fuse because I've got 213 across it instead of zero. If you take this to ground, and touch ground to line three, 120 volts. Ground to two, 120 volts. Ground to one, 120 volts. Maybe I've been calling it wrong all these years, but I learned this to be described as ghost voltage. There are, there are 120 volts sitting on the line one load side of a circuit that is missing its fuse. Where is it coming from? It's coming from line two across the fuse into the windings of the motors or the compressors and then back. And I can prove that by let's do this. Line two to two is zero. Two to one, zero. I always try to describe it to guys who um, I'm teaching. It's like algebra. You have 120A, 120B, and 120C. And what this is doing is measuring the distance between the two. So if I've got 120A, and on the other side I got 120B, that distance is 213. But if I've got 120B and 120B, that distance is zero which is how I know this is line two because when I hit line two, it's zero. Now, I'm sure the actual electricians are losing their minds right now that my concept is completely wrong. That's not how it works, fine. But when I was doing three phase analysis, I used to do this and be like, okay, my problem's obviously here between one and two. I come here and I get 211, I come here and I get zero, that tells me this is good, or this is the no good fuse, but then I would, I would always test the ground as well to be like, I'm so confused, why do I have 120 if I got a bad fuse? It's because the ghost voltage is running through, into the system, out of the system, and it's sitting right here. I'll throw you a different question, uh, electricians, right? Because I truly don't know. This is a real question. If this 120 volts, if I took this wire and touched it to this wire, that would spark, it would blow the fuse, and then it would trip the breaker. So explain to me why I have 120A sitting here, and I have 120B sitting right here. And the moment I put a fuse in and connect to the two, the system works. Sorcery.